I'm going to show you now how to do a long distance casting bait for shad. Very simple. Some foam, any foam is up to you. Obviously a sinker with a clip on it. Our standard double hook shad trace. Two sardines, cotton and a knife. I'm just measuring out a piece of foam quickly. Should be about the right length. Just gonna cut it down. It's a little bit on the big side there. Okay. Shorter in the front, um, deeper in the middle, and shorter at the back, or tapered at the back if you'd like to call it that. Measure out where you want to start. That's basically my starting point bit of latex cotton and a lot of it. Shared a good razor sharp teeth. Um, if you don't mind changing your flotation and your cotton every time, put a little bit of uh, cotton on. I don't like changing it at all so I put a hell of a lot of cotton on. Guys you just bear with me here. Yeah? Okay, that's pretty much the trace. Very simply, what I'm going to do is take a sardine, chop it off behind the head, tail off. Easiest way is straight down the center until you hit the backbone. Take it from there, open it up, open it up. Okay, so there's your first one done. I'm doing exactly the same with the second one. Over there. Straight down the back. And again, just open it up. These are slightly small sardines. If they were bigger, I'd only use one. Yeah. Okay. I'm taking the backbone out of one of them only. Okay, so that's the one I've taken the backbone out. What I'm going to do with this one is take the knife and cut straight down the backbone, breaking all the bones. Turning it inside out, hook on the top, and wrapping it. Trusty latex cotton, if I can get the end of it. And wrapping it up. And I put a lot on this one, guys. A hell of a lot. Just to hold it in place. The backbone has got a lot of smell in it, a lot of blood. It keeps it very rigid. So basically that's what I'm doing there. I'm then taking the second one that has got no backbone in it and wrapping it around again, but slightly further back. It's much softer, um, there's no backbone holding any of the actual um, flesh, stomach or anything in. So that will dissipate a lot quicker than the first one. So that's basically all I've done. Now taking the second hook and just going under the, the latex cotton, if you can see, yeah, I'm just trying to grab it. You go under the latex cotton and then back out, just so it holds it in place for a second. Turn it around. Get it to turn around. There we go. And then cotton that onto it as well. There we go, there we go guys, a very messy, mushy bait, over there as you can see a lot of blood coming out of it, oozing out. The reason you put a lot of latex on it is so that all the blood and the smell gets squashed out of it. As the little particles start dissipating into the water, the elastic from the elasticated cotton actually contracts on it and holds it in place and actually pushes more of the blood out of it. 
Long distance casting one, like I say, there's my sinker clip, goes on it, it's a long thin bait, and you can throw this a mile and a half, guys. When it hits the water, the sinker comes off, this will float up like that. Actually, it floats up like that, because that's the, the more dense side of it. And any shad that comes along, whoops, whoops, doesn't make a difference. There's the trace all ready for it. Simple. Very easy to do, very easy to throw, very aerodynamic. And there's a lot of blood and smell and guts on that one, guys.